Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to another video on ECG. I am Dr. Wajis Beer. I have done residency in cardiology. This is the ECG which we are going to discuss today. But before starting the discussion on ECG, as always, pause your videos, note down the findings and diagnosis with yourself, and at the end of the video, compare your findings and diagnosis with what was discussed in this ECG video. So let's begin the discussion on this ECG by looking at this ECG strip we can find a very obvious finding on it. The finding is that you can see that there is tachycardia on this ECG. The heart rate is very fast as it is evident by looking at this ECG. If we calculate the heart rate, it is about 300, 150. So heart rate is about 150 beats per minute on this ECG. So whenever you find an ECG with tachycardia, the next thing you should think of is whether it is a regular tachycardia or irregular tachycardia. So again, if we look at the rhythm strip, we can find that the QRS interval is regular. The QRS interval are separated by a regular interval. So we can say that this is a regular tachycardia at 150 beats per minute. The next and very important thing is whether this is a wide complex or narrow complex tachycardia. Wide complex is a QRS interval of more than 120 millisecond or 3 small scale while a narrow complex is QRS complex that is less than 120 millisecond. So here if we look at the duration of QRS complex, it is definitely less than 3 small scale. So this is a narrow complex regular tachycardia at rate of 150 beats per minute. Now the next thing is, what is the cause of this narrow complex regular tachycardia? So there are three differentials for narrow complex regular tachycardia, which include sinus tachycardia, proxismal supraventricular tachycardia known as SVT, and atrial flutter with a fixed AV block. So to find out the difference between, difference between these three entities, we will try to look for any sinus P wave or atrial waves. So again, if we look at the rhythm strip, we can find that there are negatively deflected P waves or better uh, call, it, call them atrial waves before each QRS complex. Similarly, these waves are positively deflected in lead V1. So the presence of these P waves before P waves or atrial waves before QRS complex means that possibly this is a sinus tachycardia but if we look closely, we can see a small bump before after each QRS complex. And if we calculate the rate of these P waves, we can see that these P waves or atrial waves, they come at a rate of about 300 beats per minute. Here you can see that there are two negatively deflected atrial waves before each QRS complex. 
the atrial rate is about 300 beats per minute while the ventricular ventricular rate is at 150 beats per minute so with these this kind of negatively deflected atrial waves we can say that this is atrial flutter with 2 into 1 av block another worth mentioning thing here is that the atrial waves are negatively deflected in both lead in all of lead 2 3 and avf while they are positively deflected in lead v1 this type of pattern shows that the pathway of atrial flutter is counterclockwise and this is called typical atrial flutter now the next thing is axis for axis we look at the direction of qrs complex in lead 1 and lead avf as we can see that the direction of qrs in lead 1 is upwards while it is downwards in lead avf so by rule of thumb the axis here is left axis deviation next if we look at lead v3 we can find very prominent s waves the amplitude of s wave is about 35 small scales while it is 10 uh, small scales in lead avl so as per corner criteria if the amplitude of r wave in lead avl plus amplitude of lead uh, amplitude of s wave in lead v3 is equal to 28 equal to or more than 28 in male or 20 millimeter in female it is left ventricular hypertrophy so by coronal criteria this ecg has shows left ventricular hypertrophy so to sum up the findings there is atrial flutter with 2 into 1 av block also there is left axis deviation with left ventricular hypertrophy this is all for today hopefully you would have liked this video for more on ECG, kindly subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Thank you and Allah Hafiz till next time.